High in the cradling embrace of the Portuguese mountains, a secret is hidden. An abandoned mansion of unparalleled wonder. This forgotten jewel once belonged to the noble couple Pedro and Ines Maria da Lima, who resided in its glorious chambers. Their union was blessed with a daughter, Isabella, who brought joy and laughter to the grand halls. As time whispered its passage, Mother Nature began a relentless siege upon the mansion, slowly reclaiming what was once a man's creation. Yet, amid the crumbling walls and encroaching vines, remnants of opulence remains, turning the place into an extraordinary museum of the past. Pedro and Ines Maria's prosperity flourished through their agricultural company and they generously invested their fortune in enhancing the mansion's splendor. But the cycle of life carried them towards the twilight years. Ines Maria and her beloved Pedro retired from the world of business devoting themselves to the mansion and each other. Tragedy struck when Pedro passed away, leaving Ines Maria to roam the grand halls alone. She embraced the memories and found solace in the mansion's embrace. However, as the weight of years burdened her, Ines Maria reluctantly moved to a nursing home, where her final days drew near and she joined her beloved husband in the realm of the departed. Left without heirs who cherish the mansion's legacy, Isabella's disinterest paved the way for the property's relentless grip of decay. The once magnificent mansion is now facing the cruel passage of time and the unforgiving forces of nature. Enjoy this tour as we take you inside today and show you its immaculate beauty that is still present today. Well, welcome. Welcome. Uh, We're still like half awake. Yeah, true, true. It's like 6 30 in the morning. Yeah, 6 7, uh, 7 ish. But uh, we are going to walk uh, towards this. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, for me, right now, I do think the most beautiful place in Portugal I've ever seen. This place. <laughs> is mind-blowing guys it's mind-blowing so like i said like we're still half awake but we had to go early because we're gonna need a lot of hours in this place and when we saw it yesterday with our own eyes we could not believe what we saw right no man no, no we no, cannot no. believe that this place is just wide open and the fact abandoned that, yeah the fact that it's abandoned and it's not looped after anymore well it's like a museum for real, like this video is gonna be totally worth to watch. And I do think, honestly do think, if you're watching this right now and you're probably seeing like a two hour timeline 
of a video, but believe me, every single second is worth it. So. Oh yeah, there is, it's, there is so much to see. It is so big. Honestly, this is probably top five material. So uh, we're just hiking here, it's beautiful. Yeah, man, it's the beautiful mountainous area of, of Portugal, actually. You can see we also brought it back with some supplies. We got some food, but especially some drinks. Yeah, man. Because we definitely do think that we will be here for a long time. You yeah, know? sure. <laughs> well, we're about to capture a glimpse of the beautiful mountain valley. Yeah, man. We are uh, very close, actually. So let's check that out. It's incredible. Such a <laughs> scenic place over here. Yeah, man. It's very quiet, like very quiet, quiet. It's only the sound of nature. I see a white fan. Yep, it's gonna pass us in one minute or so. So I'm gonna keep the camera low. Yeah, man, just keep the camera low. Keep things running. I'll have them running. Maybe just act like we are looking at the wild, I think. Yeah. Let's appreciate the beautiful view. But just like, have a look at the view because I do think that the fan is going to be crossing with high speed. Yeah, we're in a very little mountain town, so people don't really see strangers here in this time of the year. You heard the dogs? Made a way out of the crowd. At least a couple of houses close by. It was a little hike. I see another van that's gonna pass us in a bit. Really? The man is at the pool. This pool over here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well, what do you think? Just go? Yeah. Instantly. All right. We're not a vision of the house anymore. Huh? We're not a vision of the neighbor anymore. But make no noise, zero noise opening the gate. Right, close the gate. Okay guys, we made it to the place. Wow. There's even a private chapel over here. 
place has so much history to offer. Well, bro, I would say just let's just walk in. Man. This is incredible. How old do you think this place is? I have no clue, honestly. I do think... 60? Over 100 years? Over 100 years? Yeah, sure, man. It's proper old. I definitely think so, too. Maybe even three centuries. Could be. Could definitely be the case, man. I mean, the religious artifacts over there, the chapel over here. Yeah, this is a majestic place. Yeah. Wow. But I'm really trying to figure out what the purpose was. That's what I'm honestly most curious about. Well, I think it was definitely from a novel's man. I think it used to be the residence of them. I think a big novel family, honestly. There's gonna be so much to see on this explore. We already checked everything yesterday. We're gonna start off touring the entire mansion. Then you're about to see the inside of this idyllic chapel. And lastly, there is even a guest house on the top part of this shed. And you're about to see a witness it all during this exploration. So without further ado, bro, let's, let's head in. Head in, man. All right. We couldn't believe yesterday that this place was just so easy to enter, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. It just seemed too good to be true. It, 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 and, and then, of course, there was an alarm sign at the front. And a fresh alarm sign. I'm not sure if I even filmed that, but... No, you didn't, you didn't. But there was like a fresh alarm sign, which is still quite shiny and stuff. And everything inside was just open, like wide open. Well, the entrance. We're gonna try to leave this place when we finish everything to leave it more properly closed yeah, to protect yeah. it because this place is insane like insane insane okay time for magic in three two one wow all right moreno this is where we enter and i think we are right inside of a basement part actually yeah for sure this was the basement, the ground floor, and their little shed. As you can tell, well, put on the gloves, put on the mask, and we're going to explore, man. What could this have been? I think this was actually to keep chickens. Yeah, definitely, I think, for some poultry or some animals. I mean, look. Yep. You can tell that. <laughs> well, actually, I think this was for food storage over here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we already have the first chest. <laughs> Let's check it out. Open it up, man. Whoa. What is that for a typical design? Never seen that before. I've never seen those straps. No, exactly. Maybe for bottles of wine? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they could lay them uh, on each exactly, layer. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like the exclusive Hawaiian. Wow. Yeah, that's just a storage over here, man. Actually, not that special. Making my way through. Over there, we see some wine bottles. Are they still filled? Yeah, that one still has the cork. Yep, yeah, it's still full. Let's check out what kind of wine it is. Vino Verde. It's uh, Vino Tinto. Tinto. Red wine. Product of Portugal. Yep. Nice, man. Some more bottles over here. Yeah. Well, continue away. Oh, damn, Mo. Over here, we definitely have some more wine. Look. Old-fashioned wine storage. Remember that this is actually typically done in Portugal. Yep, yep. With those kind of uh, hexagon ceramics. Yep, true, man. Actually, like a complete wall. Right around the other side. There are also these bottles that were used for short-term uh, storage of wine. Yep. Is it actually continuing around the corner over here? Like, how big is it? 
Oh yeah, it's also on this side. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, there is a lot, man. There's actually a lot nowhere. Wow. Portuguese and their wine. Always. Definitely goes together. <clears throat> Always goes together, man. I mean, most of them would even make it themselves, so. Wasn't here. Yeah, there is more wine, actually. All right. Oh yeah, a lot of bottles also on top. Yeah. There is like way more over here. So, walk up then. Yeah, w w what's here in this door? Well, there is actually not much. It's just a pipeline and some uh, cans to store water, I think. Yeah, water or maybe milk? Milk or chemicals. I don't know. Maybe there was a secret mat lab. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? I mean, uh, this place doesn't have a secret mat lab, but does has a lot of historical secrets that are going to be revealed today. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Because you're probably seeing this right now. And you're thinking like, hmm not that kind of special well i do think this honestly is the least special part let's say this treasure is a slow burner yeah 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 all right man making my way up into the actual house you and can actually see how terrible the state of the stairs is yeah you really need to be careful i wish you would just skip the step Well, Mo. All right. And we made we it, man. We made it. This is the start. Yep. This is the start of a very big adventure, actually. Because the property is huge. And just imagination that this isn't the only property. No. Nah. Ah. We also got the chapel and we got the eye building. Yeah. That was probably from their servants back in the day, so maybe a guest house. True, true. It's true. also pretty, pretty decent. I checked it yesterday. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, over here, you can just tell. They used to store some small items, equipment, where we have uh, a coin. Republica de Portugal. Is it the Escudo? I'm not quite sure. Like, yeah, Escudo is it saying. Escudos, the old currency of Portugal. Escudos. We just have some some postal cards, some small business cards, and of course, well, I don't know why this is attached over here, but wow, crystallized block, all the crystal inside. First religious artifact that we see. Yeah, we're gonna find a lot of it. Of course, if they also had a private chapel. Well, decoration, flashlight. I always like why the flashlight is always in the kitchen, uh, stored in the kitchen. <laughs> kitchen equipment. But this was actually more like a side kitchen. Yeah. This was not but like... I think they used to like, this was a side kitchen and the main kitchen is like right on the opposite side. Yep. But just everything is still there. Yeah. Like, first sign that this place is untouched. Like for real, untouched. Is that real silver? I'm not sure, that it feels very light, but I wanted to grab one of those plates. Oh yeah, they're beautiful, man. They are beautiful. And do you see? They're carved over here. Mm -hmm. It's a quite unique design. It's wonderful. Well, close things up again. All right, Mo. We do have a fridge. Gonna do the test? Yeah, I think it's empty. Oh, empty, but yet repulsive. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. quite dirty. That's quite dirty indeed. Still some magnets over here. 
Yeah. On the freezer compartment. Do you think, uh, normally, the, nah, the freezer is even stuck, man. Oh, there's water in there. So you can see that this refrigerator hasn't been opened. It's just shut off, and that's it. And I do think it's still connected to electricity, but eventually electricity stopped in here. You can actually see a photo of how this place looks in 1998. Check that out. This is the property. We can still see a white car part in the garden. It's beautiful, man. It's quite a huge property, actually. Well, and then over here, I do think medical equipment, equipment like medicals. Yeah, like medicine. Yep, exactly. What is inside over here? Don't know what that is. I think medicines, man. Just medicines. All over the place, medicines. It looks Domingos. like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let me see. Cutlery. Cutlery. Damn. It's shaky. For real. Like, it's falling apart. Unbelievable. What is this? Some biscuits? Crackers? Yeah, yeah it looks like. Shadow. I think some some crackers. Yeah, but it's like a heavy brick actually. Yeah, of course, after all those years. Yep. It came quite heavy. <laughs> and then over here, just some other kitchen tools. Just the imagination. Everything's left. Like, everything they want, owned. I think for this tour, we might got to go into this direction and then show the other parts. All right, your or, choice. Or, or do you want to do the corridor first? Uh, I, w I would say just let's first do that part and okay. keep, let, let, let them keep on watching. Let's say it like that, because this is also very cool, but that yeah. is even way more cooler, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that for sure. There is just a lot, so. I, I, I would say let's immediately walk to the opposite side and do the kitchen because that's what you said like it's on the opposite side Yep, and this is it Very traditional Portuguese kitchen The what dishes is? for this novel family That once resided there were all prepared there Servants you think I definitely think for I such a big so, noble family, I think they were generous, especially in their time era. And now it's just all abandoned, man. It truly shows you that time is of relative definition and very elusive. Just imagine that time is always catching up sooner or later, so. That's why we always try to say, like, live your life in the way you want it. I'm wondering what this is for. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Maybe these, these are names, but... Limpeza, maos, lusa, copos, chavenas. If it has a meaning, please say it in the comment section. If it doesn't, then, yeah, just let us know. Oh, look. Actually, uh, the typical Portuguese chicken. The cock, eh? Yeah, from Portugal. You see those a lot when you go to Porto, to the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Damn. Stunning, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Cool. Some uh, dishes have been cooked over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can truly tell. <laughs> it's completely black. What is this? Sure. I have no clue what that is. <laughs> it's not a music instrument. No, no, no. Even another little oven over here. Well, and then of course over there, some more kitchen equipment. You know what's just so insane about this place? Not only the fact that we're gonna find multi-millions of dollars of antiques and centuries of history, but also the fact 
that this place is truly decayed. Truly decayed. And truly neglected, like not being maintained or taken care of. Like, honestly, even if somebody cared about it, you can't do anything with any of the stuff that is inside. Like, you really need to recover some items. There are definitely some, but like 80% or something. I can't open this anymore. I mean, 80% is like... What about the water? Demolished. I hear water in the pipes right now. Mm -hmm. So there is something, but... It's probably just, yeah. Not, not sufficient to... Yeah, you saw that last group. Yeah. The, oh, well, actually... I do think that's it, man. It's probably still some water from the mountains in there, but... <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's just it. Well, all right, let's uh, continue, Mo. Because it's just quite a huge property, actually. You would definitely not expect that. And there are so many storage parts, like also over here. It's a big storage. Well, just the storage for some canned food. And then again, kitchen tools. Ooh, the porcelain over there on top. It's beautiful. Open it up from this side. And of course, way more porcelain. Why would you even have that many? Well, if you had gas and you had different courses, you would elegantly serve them out like different kind of porcelain, china ware. True, true. You know, it was like your your visitor's note. Mm -hmm. True that, true that. I mean, uh, you wanted to make a good impression when other noble families or, you know, like important people from that time came to visit you. Exactly, exactly. You really want to make sure that, uh, but uh, I still don't get it. Property's this big. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Let's All right, head up here. Yep, head up here. Yeah. As you can still, the jacket's still hanging over here. I mean, come on, man. And yeah, these are definitely from an old man. And as you also can tell, the jacket's is over here. There's also the skirt, that spider. <laughs> Completely moldy. And just look at the cutwebs in between it. Yeah, unbelievable, man. First person touching this in a long time. And also over here. It's crazy. All those clothes are just hanging up here like they still wore their last outfit. Exactly, exactly. But they never returned ever since. Who would leave such place? This is a back door, I think. Yeah. This is a back garden door, probably. This is quite unusual. I do think this was for a servant. This, this is like, it has a bathroom right next to it. Yeah, but I think it was not for a servant because we're gonna find a lot of personal photos inside this room. Okay, okay, well, continuing. Oh no, look, look, look. Whoa. All the shoes are even on the ground, all paired next to each other. It's from an old man. Yep, these were definitely uh, his last routes, man. I do think so. Since uh, the medicines are right next on, on the table. Yeah, on the nightstand. On the nightstand, exactly. Just gonna sit over here on the bed. And we have some personal letters. I think that's not how you pronounce it. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> lol. Not, yeah, what does it say, man? Lokel. Joquel? Joquel or something. Joquel. It's Portuguese. We need to pronounce it in a Portuguese way. We're gonna find more letters probably with more clear okay, description. Wait. No, no, how about that? Espanol. 
Jokel de Lyon. De Lima, maybe. De Lima. Lima, you hear a lot in Portugal. Jokel de Lima. Am I a good Portuguese man right now? Well, let's uh, let the Brazilian and Portuguese viewers judge. Just say it. Just, <laughs> just be honest in the comments. Let's well, check this out over here. Yeah, man. We have some baby pictures, actually. And this is quite unusual because these pictures are new. Like... Well, I would say they could be like from my childhood, you know? So let's say like they're maximum 20 years old. True that, true that. So cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. baby. Really nice photos. Little girl growing up. Really, really nice photos. And then, I'm actually more curious than what is over here. We still have the glasses. Well, we have the box. We even have a, a watch. A Psycho. The Luciano 1999. So yeah, the photos could be from our age, man. Like our time period. Check out the lamb over here, too. It's cool, man. A Jesus. receptacle over here. Yep. I do think this was the last resident of the person living there. The bed. <laughs> old painting and then even the toys toy story 2 yeah <laughs> there are plenty of toys inside this place actually yeah man all right we do have a name yeah i already saw another envelope over there too yeah you were right lima it's uh, maria lima this is actually from the city itself from portugal being texas well, I'm not going into too much detail, because that's some personal information. Yeah, this place needs to be protected. Oh yeah, sure, sure. Also look at the stones, by the way. All the stone walls. And it's real, huh? Yeah, for, for sure. It's not fake, man. No, I mean, it's very traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very aged structure, you know? Picture over here. Do you think it's the same girl? Maybe, yeah, when she was more grown. Yeah. Oh, look, also very Portuguese. The clumps, huh? Yeah, Portuguese clumps. <laughs> look at this. Party on the Immersion. One cent. <laughs> Free cuddly panda beer inside. Would it still be in there? It's from Canon. Yeah, it's still in there. <laughs> yep. Cute. And there's still a Simon. Also with the picture right behind it. Oh yeah, that's proper old. Yep, we can see a woman with a baby and it was probably the person that was actually raised there, so that was like the, the grandmother. Yep, exactly. Or the great-grandmother, even. Some other names. Of course, many people inhabit this place. What was the name? Um, whew, hard to say. Damn, these handwritings. Pai? Oh, oh, Pai? Nah, that, that, that sounds French, man. Actually, we can also see the name of one of our friends, Gaspar. Gaspar. Yeah. Danny, you were in there, huh? You lived there, Danny, man. we know it. We you know are, it. You are noble, man. You are noble, man. Tell us. Tell us. Yeah, and then we immediately have this, this bathroom over here. And actually, it's, it's, it's way more modern, this, this style bathroom. Yeah. So I think this is maybe the most modern room we're gonna see in this place. Actually. Exactly, exactly. So I do really think that the man was just... Or maybe one of the bedrooms like downstairs in the other wing. Could be. Those could are be. also a little bit more modern. True. For the rest, you can still see signs of decay. 
and dust. Yeah. Just decay and dust and just a bathroom, man. It's crazy. Second. Oh, watch out. And this is after the year 2000 because there are also two cents over here. Okay. So it hasn't been abandoned for a long, long, long. Well, at least 15 years. True that, true that. I do think the beginning is of the 2000s, man. During the millennium. Yep. I mean, two pack ties, machine washables, five euros. That was when inflation was not hitting that bad. <laughs> Another one of these lamps. And again, the picture of the child. All right, so for the next part of the corridor, we got to be very cautious because the floor over here is completely cracked. As you can tell, yep, it's completely cracked. Right. Just to give you an imagination, let's head inside the first room. All right, Mo. Got another bedroom. Shine a light, man. Wow. Man. This looks repulsive, honestly. I mean, take a look over there at the doll. Damn. Ah. Ah. You can clearly see all the black molds in those books. That's crazy, man. Ah, that looks nasty, man. Honestly. Actually, I can see something over here. What is it? De Maria. Yeah, don't show it okay, too much in detail. Okay. Just keep a little bit distance. It's crazy. It's almost like a four poster bed. Yeah, man. Man. Light wall is all covering the envelopes over here. Exactly, exactly. Well, you shouldn't stand too long in here then, man. No, we still have a key over here. This fan is, has fallen down over here in the corner. Oh yeah, we have a fan over there in the corner. Well, Mo, if it was you, I would just head out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was the fan. Destroying the fan. <laughs> Since you can't find your mask, my brother. Check this out. <laughs> It's beautiful. Yeah, but I'm talking about how the greenery is making its way inside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Take a look. Like, nature is really taking over, man. It's doing its job at its best will. Yeah, for sure. All right, I'm stuck. What is this? It's <laughs> a paper bag. Well, let's see what's in here. Yeah, there is not even clothes or anything in there. No. We have another child toy with a clock. <laughs> it's quite funny. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's this? It's from the rally. International rally in Portugal in 1988. That they won something? I don't know. I think they attended it. Damn. So they were rally carting over here. Another letter? Mm, I'm not sure what is inside. Actually like stickers to label something. It's saying Historia. Historia, so history. Okay, okay. Name, year and type. So maybe this was once used to sell like some of their antiques yeah, uh, uh. to label it. They categorize stuff. Maybe at least they tried, let's say it like that. Yeah. All right. Well, then uh, head out again. It's crazy. And better watch your step over here. Look how the, the wood is just cracking. I mean, there. look. Hey, <laughs> you can easily tell. <laughs> All right, just one big step move. <laughs> Got 
a bot room over here. Yeah, just a small one, as you can tell. Again, Portuguese style with the tiles. Look at all the feces in the sink. Ugh. Oh yeah, I see. That's quite nasty. Oh, not much special things to see over here. I think this is the room where they used to do their ironing and laundry. Yeah, looks like it, right? What did you find? Quite a cool hat. Yeehaw! <laughs> Reminds me of the time in Texas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I wish you wouldn't, I would not take that one uh, with you to Texas. I have a better one. Yeah. A cleaner one, more swag. <laughs> more swag, yeah. Well, oh, look, look, look. Even over there, man. Just falling apart. Yeah. You can tell that this place is like really uh, catching up in time. Maybe one day it will completely just fall apart. Full of blankets in there. Yep. Check this out in the corner over here, Raymond. Is this safe? It is. Um, I'm not sure. It what is, is that? There, wait, I'm gonna grab it. It's um. All right, just, just grab it. It must be quite heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it's mm. quite heavy. Yeah. I was thinking exactly the same, man. All right, grab the light. Now tell me more. What is it? What do you think it is? Yeah, I think this used to roll, you know, mm -hmm. but <laughs> it's not possible anymore. Yeah, it's stuck. It's like completely stuck. But I don't know. All right. If you know it, you know what to do. It's Leave crazy. it down in the comment but section because... Now, now uh, back to this, like, is this a vault or is this a stove? I do think it's a stove, man. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Very it's definitely one. just a stove. Multiple doors. And it's yeah, just stone, you know, like it's probably leading to another chimney here. Could be, could be. I mean, behind it, I think. Yeah, possibly. But well, bro, floor is uh, cracking underneath me. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> this place is very decadent. Well, decadence. I do think you have your answer right over here on the floor. Look, this is a part of a chimney, right? Yeah. All right, well, what else do we got over here? A backpack. Full of blankets again. It's quite nice. Quite uh, unusual, actually. Check out here. Oh yeah, again, religious artifacts. This is something of the travels, Monaco. Yep, Monaco, Monte, Monte Carlo, Carlo. Sled du Soleil. Oh, they've been to places. Yeah, and for the people back in that time, you used to have a lot of money to oh, be yeah, able yeah. to travel. Used to be quite wealthy, man. Like that. nowadays, there is globalization, flights, like that was not like that back in the days. Mm -hmm. You needed to be a wealthy person. Exactly, exactly. Well, what else do we got, Mo? Oh, over there, look on top. The suitcases. Yeah. As you can tell. And is there like many much things left over here? Except some white mold. And it's right over here. Maybe if you have a light for me. Well, just some clothes. And I do think uh, that was it for this part, man. It's time for the other part. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Be amazed, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit down yeah. and enjoy. Alright, 
so back where we came up and we need to show you a beautiful part first i mean let's treat you guys the... well with one amazing room exactly let's treat you right with one beautiful glimpse and that's actually where we came up and then right next to that door this was unbelievable this was literally the first thing seeing inside this place i mean can you imagine this damn we're actually blocking the view right now i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> i'm also beautiful but this is way more beautiful man i need to admit that wow this is incredible can you shine the lights hell no wow this is unbelievable i think this was actually the dining room given that it's like so close to the kitchen too exactly exactly and that's why i was asking myself like i mean you have one two three four five six seats so imagine all this chinaware for six yeah seats Maybe they had, I think they had different porcelain for different occasions as well. Oh yeah, true. And they probably had a bigger table, a way bigger table. Damn. You can see the painting properly. Yeah. It's from the war. Yep, that's from the war. They're actually fighting. It's quite ironic that exactly the place where the clock of the church used to be is actually a hole. Right oh now. yeah. It's quite unusual. Uh, you can see them fighting and battling over here. And then a the beautiful fireplace, but look at this design. Wow. Beautiful, right? It's like carved, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's painted. It's painted. Just all dotted, handmade. Let's place that back because I don't want to destroy that. And then look in the corner over there too. Yeah. All, all the their crystal. Crystal, yeah. I mean, let's have a look. Oh, check that out. Jesus. It's, uh, I said the last evening meal, but what is it? The last supper, I believe. The last supper, yeah. Yeah. Well, Beautiful lamps. And you can chair. just see how damaged the furniture is covered with debris. You can see signs of wood warm over there. Yep. Then we have the dining table. Man. The beautiful. The lamp. Beautiful lamp, man. Chandelier, I would say. In incredible. Mind blowing. What a beautiful, gorgeous piece. Looks like it's completely from crystal, actually. <sighs> wow. Check this out over here, Raymond. Yeah. A little record player. A little record player, yeah. It's actually a way more model one, but still a petit one. <laughs> what oh, damn. All those different family coats of arms from novel families are displayed on this plate. I do think that's the only reason why these places just don't get teared down. Because they were definitely from novel families. And I need to see more. This ashtray, 100% silver. Can you show the back? Euro, Europe Estania. And it has a silver label. This is also heavy for a What's that? Police siren in this area? But there is a highway close to this. Oh yeah, true, true, true. I mean, it's quite unusual because... It's, it's, uh, it's just so serene over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite peaceful. Well, check out the painting over here, Raymond. Beautiful, right? Yeah. quite big yeah yeah and have you also checked this like the curtains yeah they're in almost every room that's about to follow so beautiful those laces those curtains 
Again, we can capture a glimpse of the outside. The chapel right over there. The outhouse or guest house there. Another shed. And there used to be another shed on top. But that home has actually been renovated and we think it's a vacation house right now. Well, then, uh, oh, this is cool. You know what this is? Was it to, uh, for water? No, 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 no. It was for cream, whipped cream. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 yeah. look. Because over here, well, m maybe not whipped cream, but because over here, you can put in the, um, uh, how they call it again, for pressure. Mm-hmm. Wow. And look, the traditional coffee maker. I remember this one from Marcel, <laughs> New York. <laughs> I actually don't drink coffee, so I didn't use it, but... <laughs> That's why it's so close in my mind, man. <laughs> well, what else do we have over here? So some simple tools. Lighter over here. Probably still working. Oh, still working, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Still working. Another one over here. Probably also still working. I mean, come on. These things don't, don't go down. And again, the silver plate actually. Just some more plates. Again and again. No? Again and again. Wow. Check out the, the little cups over there. Oh yeah, yeah, I see. This over here. Well, it's uh, and oil. Oh yeah, yeah, I see it, and they, it's still inside. Yeah. Well, it's completely can, solid. Yeah, we can completely <laughs> solid. Vino Verde, actually the white wine of Portugal. Copper plate on top. Oh, look at that! Last supper again. Okay, the last supper. All right. Take a look how cute this little set of salt and pepper is. Very small ones. Man. It's so cute. But like I said, completely out of copper. Again, we have the cock over there. The cock de Portugal. Small, uh, it's for uh, dinner, right? To like yeah. bring bring the food, the little cart, little cart. Cool, man. Very cool. They could definitely tell it's a normal family and just servants uh, living in here as well. And again, one more time, the last supper. Yep, the last supper, bro. The last supper, damn. The last supper. I said copper. Copper is something else. Copper is something else. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. It's early. Through that, through that. And we are both blown away by, by this place, immaculate uh, beauty. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But this was uh, the beautiful room we were talking about. Right now we're going to show you some more beautiful rooms and eventually also going downstairs. Okay, so we're about to continue right now. We're gonna give you a little tease, a look at this exquisite wooden bench. It's beautiful, man. With the family coat of arms painted right over here. The carvings. The and lamp control. right above it. Also very, very unique. And then uh, Moreno, I would say, show them the last bits of this one. Wow. It's incredible. Yeah. It's very incredible. See the cobwebs all between. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Structure. All right. Now I'm just gonna stand right over here because the other part behind me, that's gonna be the last part of this video. Yeah, yeah. Right oh, now, last part of this house, let's say. Like yeah, the, yeah, the mansion, the mansion, the mansion. I can't believe how much we still have to see. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We have a lot to see. All right. Well, what is the painting right next to you? You're right. 
can't see it properly. Okay, okay. I do think also something religious as well. You walk in the side of this place, looks so, so cool, man. I know, right? We tried something else today, which holding the lights instead of holding it on the camera, I think it gives a more ominous perspective. A more mysterious vibe. A more real vibe of exploring, you know? Exactly, exactly. Check this out. Guys. The bed. Look at that. The pillows have been completely eaten by insects and moths. I mean, the take a proper look. of the mattress and the pillows littering the bed sheet. And then also on top, look at the design. Wonderful headboards with some detailed carvings. <laughs> Again, the religious painting. And what do we have over here? Well, actually, check this out. What is it? It's a carved, carved statue. Okay. Looks, okay. looks quite strange. Like it's holding a Bible, so I think this was some kind of priest or monk. Damn. Religion in these places goes so, so, so far. Santa Teresa di Gesù. Okay. Some very old scriptions over here. Maybe we can read what it says? No. No. I mean, the handwriting is just Not bad. Not even a chance. <laughs> Again, religious artifact. So many actually in this place, man. I mean, oh, old plasters, quite vintage looking. Salva looks, okay, okay. Yep. Pocket Bible, with uh, Jesus Christ on the cover. Like we see, only religion. Only God's the one among us. Well, and then over here, we have uh, some books. Well, some books, things completely filled, man. History Universelle. What is that one? Mr. Bean, I'm 2007, <laughs> April oh. 2007. Yeah, like I said, 2000, so Mo, imagine only for how many years, like 20 years or something? 15 years. 15 years, ah, yeah, 15 years, running too much in time. Damn, because I'm so speechless and so amazed about this place, my IQ Incredible. is going uh, down. <laughs> I, I just really, really want to check everything out. Little car. Oh yeah, yeah. See, look. Ah, yeah, yeah. I see it. <laughs> Let's give them one little hint. Keep watching this video. Exactly, exactly. Please keep on watching. Cause uh, yep, like we said, some proper antiques and a for beautiful sure. place, man. For sure. Check out, first of all, the design of this one, huh? this cabinet, intricate carvings, wonderful locks. All right, then open oh it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> actually, actually, I believe some of these clothes were actually special clothes to wear to funerals. True, 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 true. You can, the TK is incredible. Oh, Lose the repulsive, man. I mean, take a closer look, please. Please, please. You can see that inside of there. These are probably mod eggs, I think. I don't know, they look disgusting. Like the white thingies. Yeah, that's also why we're definitely wearing gloves in this place. Yeah. Are even more clothes? 
No. Some. Some Not a yeah. lot. What's this over here? A beautiful purse, man. Whoa. We have some pictures? Yeah. All right, all right. What else do we have? We have a name, Ines Maria. All right, all right, so it was Wait. a woman. Oh, I even saw a bank card, actually. Ines Maria, Ines Maria, Ines Maria. Yeah, that's 100%. And it's actually from 1995. Um, it's actually from an agricultural company and this was like their billing, their finances. Yeah, 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 yeah. 1990. 1981 over here, Ines Maria again. Ines Maria da Lima. Okay, okay. I think that this woman actually lastly owned this place. Could be, and it could be that she was uh, in that bed over there, man. It's all Ines Maria and actually... This is her driving license. Dang. We have her here. Come over here. Check this out. Oh yeah, that's Ines Maria. That's her. Oh, damn. 1961. Well, she got her driving license. At least thanks for having us, darling. Yes, uh, yep. She was born in 1921 in the city of Porto. Actually on the 1st of January. Nice, new year, new born. Wow. Damn, oh. Ines Maria. Really going back in history, actually. I think this woman has actually already departed Earth. It's sad to see her wallet because this was probably her husband that actually passed away. We had a picture that we just saw. Okay. Let's see what else I can find, but we already found a lot of information right now. Yeah, I would say spent quite some time uh, looking at personal documents and uh, yeah, yeah, because we want to find out the history, right? That's exploring. Well, that was also a bank card. Over right here is a uh, is a card from the year 2000. And it's actually from her retirement. Okay, okay, okay. That was it. I'm gonna put the spurs back where I found it. Close it because it was just open. But that's actually learned us a lot. Yep. Of this place. Now next up we have a door over here. Whoa. Some closed use thing over there. Typical Portuguese yep. uh, clothes hooks over here. Exactly. We also have an identity card over here, also from Ines Maria. Well, that was the woman again. Was that admitted in 1961, she got this one. Okay. Ines Maria. And then we also have the other two names, her, her man, Pedro. Pedro. And her daughter, Isabel. Okay, okay. So we have the family right now. Quite a beautiful woman actually back in the days. Yeah, for sure. Well, what is that? It's just a little plaque of, I don't know, maybe some wine or some liquor. Religious artifact again. So got a lot of perfumes. Perfumes well and Right over there. And as you can tell, a religious statue. Actually right over Whoa. there. Check out the bottle of Cologne. What is it called? Kulsh, Kulsh Wasser, it says. Really, it, it says Kulsh. Echt? Kulsh Wasser. Kulsh Wasser. Okay, okay, so German uh, Cologne. Check out how precious this little jewelry box is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's religious, right? I do think so. It's hand painted, actually. Magical. All the religious artifacts, man. Keep on, keep on continuing. 
And as you can tell, yeah, the ridge is statue again. And then we have the... Some more perfume. perfume. Exactly. And check this out. Also quite neat. Religious artifacts keep on coming. Yeah. And have you seen the chair over here? It's beautiful, right? It's well designed. Yeah, it truly is. It's actually quite matching with uh, the bench that we just saw in the corridor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The down part of it. And then you can tell. Nature is conquering. Nature is conquering its way. It's crazy, man. Like right over here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Mo, it's a sad true, but... Uh, I mean, exciting for us to see natural decay, but very sad for this place, and especially the history. Happy that it's still in such an untouched condition, at least free from any vandalism and just natural decay, but it's just a crying shame that this, this place is not getting restored and it's really left in a state of neglectance. Of neglectance and disrepair, man. Yeah. Because you can't do anything with yeah, almost everything inside. Yeah. Like I said, 80% is just gone. Yeah, let's let's continue, bro. Let's continue. This room was amazing. We just want to take our time to see everything. Check this out. Here? Actually, packing paper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Christmas decorations again as well. What's that one? Is that? Nah, it's just Maria, I think. Oh, it's another room, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is also quite Whoa. fascinating room. This looks like Check it out. coming home with your grandma. Like it's very cozy. I also need to say, smell over here is actually very bad. Very musty. <laughs> very musty, yeah. But besides that, it's a very cool room. All right, where should we start? Just over here. Wow. Right over here. Check this out. Who is it? Well, or at least what is it? You can clearly see that this is Noble family. And this is most likely the family originally from the city of Porto that actually owned this dignified landmark. Well, and what else do we have over here, Mo? I see 2003 over there on that invoice, but for the rest, nothing interesting. Look over here. All those tiny porcelain knickknacks. Yep, some very small, small and cool decorations. <laughs> it really feels like coming home at Grandma's house, man. Huh? The books, Portuguese hotel guide, 1993. Yeah. Damn. Look over here. If you can zoom in a little bit, the elephants. Oh yeah, yeah, I see him. Duck. Some crystal stone. Oh yeah, that's quite cool actually. Yeah. It's real crystal, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I'm a stone fanatic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Check out those little cups. Very precious. Yeah, very neat. Well, what is right behind you actually? Well, open up this desk because I'm quite curious what is behind you, man. I do think some finances. Yeah, for sure. So this was for Gaspar, actually Senor Gaspar, invoice from 2003. But we got some blueprints over here. All right. I do think there's going to be quite a big paper. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It is quite a big paper. But where is it from? Well, at least I don't know if it's the area, 
It is. It is. It is. Yeah. You know, you know what? I, you know what I think. What I think? think that the original people, when this this mansion was constructed, was very important for this region, and that they actually made this area look and design and make like 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 the planning, geological planning, the way it is today. Could be. Could definitely be. I definitely think they had the funds, you know? Yeah, they did. They definitely did. All right, we do have some pictures. Wait, maybe show them with the light. I do think that's better. Yeah, that's way better. All right. Where is it? Is it here? Mm, somewhere very snowy. It could be here in the winter time. Since we're in the mountains. But this is a more recent photo. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely more recent. I think this is Mrs. Ines Maria. Yeah, 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 that's her, that's her. Damn. Cool, man. Check this out. Yeah, this is here. This is here. This is the outside, actually. It's quite fascinating. It's just thing over here. All right, grab the light. Some other personal documents. Some knitting tools. 1995, again, uh, Disney. <laughs> Mickey book. All right, Mo. You wanted to see what's behind the door? Open it up. It's actually the next room, the other bedroom. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So let's give it a surprise. Well, then we have the entire sitting corner over here. Yeah, man. Well, as you can see, this was like grandma's uh, home spot. I mean, I'm just gonna take a seat over here. <sighs> yeah, nice, nice, man. Now you know how exhausting it is to, to film all the time, right? Well, no, not like <laughs> that, but the sofa is good. Yeah, yeah. The sofa is very good. What is it? It's Another Jesus religious? Christ. Yeah. What Joseph. Check out all the precious tiny details on top of the fireplace mantle. Yeah. Well, and you can also tell that it's just repulsively in black mold. Whoa. Statue. Mind blowing. And again, look. I don't know if you've seen it. The little girl. Yeah. What we saw from the other pictures. <laughs> Check this out. Incredible. Also, the DK over here at the wallpaper. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I do think that's like malt, man. There's also just bucks walking over the wall. I can't see him. Alright, then I'm just pretty blind. <laughs> Probably you can see them on cam. And I don't know what I'm currently stepping on, but I do think that this was an old painting. It once was, let's say like that. Over here we have the fireplace. What do we have in the corner? This is so magical. Let's be very quiet. I'm not sure if you're able to hear it as well. This is no background music. There is literally a choir of a church singing right now. And we're able to witness it right here in this place. Sure, it's, uh, that's magical. That's magical, man. <laughs> there is a name, Amalia. Actually also, it's the name of one of the princesses of the mm -hmm. Royal Dutch family. The Royal Dutch family, yeah. All the chinaware, small decorations actually. And Mo, yet another door behind you. Yeah, let's firstly show everything in the room. 
This is this looks like almost a little school desk or something. And look at the paintings on the green table right next to you. This one you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Some little flowers. Quite detailed. And have you seen the decorations right over here also? Yeah. Damn. The sun is bright. Yeah, you should get a little bit closer. You're riding the sun flare. Sunshine, sunshine, baby. And, and all the vegetation. It's crazy, right? The yeah. entire ivy is covering the entire ivy is just completely covering it up. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Oh, What's yeah. one of the details over here on the table? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at the table itself. And again, a rock. The religious statue over there is also wonderful. Yeah. And also the stone right next to it. You know, I'm just a fanatic of these things. The choir has actually just stopped singing, but that was so magical for a moment. We think it's actually coming from the other side of the mountain valley, and that there is a church. And since the wind was actually blowing in this direction, we think we could actually yeah, enjoy that for a moment. And hear it, yeah. And here is again the girl. Yep, small picture. Probably Isabella. Yeah. Isabella. All right. Well, well, you were wondering what was in this door, right? Behind you. Whoa, that's pure, pure decay. What is it? As you oh, can yeah. see, a lot of bottles of liquor. Damn, I mean, look. This is a local made liquor from 82. Licor de Fauquera. Hmm. Looks uh, also quite repulsive. Martini Rosso over there. Yeah. And what is over there in there? That's the Martini Rosso bottle. What is down here? Besides some pure decay again. Yeah, just some magazines we got. <laughs> Some desks over there, but yeah, not too much special actually. Well, check this out. Check this out. You can zoom in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely zoomed in. Check this out. Very old postage stamps. Yeah. Even some more. Yeah, there is a lot of them. They're all stick down to each other because of decay, you know. Ah, because nice. Of humidity. Sad man. Sad to see. Well, there is one over here, wait. <laughs> wait a second, what is it? 1800. No, mm -hmm. no, no. Damn. That's what I was telling you. They're very old. Whoa. Unbelievable, Mo. Unbelievable. Also, check out the mirror. Inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quite fascinating, huh? Okay, well lastly, we have this wonderful bench that we haven't really pointed out yet. Yeah, I just sat on it. <laughs> I think it could have also been used like a bed, maybe. Yeah, it could be, could be. And then the last frames are on the wall. We actually have Alcazar Palace, this is in Sevilla, I've been there with my mother. A wonderful patio, it's an incredible palace, but unfortunately, well, I find unfortunate also very touristic. like too many people like you can't really enjoy, enjoy yeah. the, the the quiet ambience of an abandoned place like it's not the same historical experience in my opinion no 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 so many people but at least happy that that place is taken care of well of course well then we have the little girl again yep and then again the alcazar palace in spain sevilla beautiful man oh well, we actually have a staircase going down here. As you can tell. And they had this little fence, so they probably also had a pet or something. <laughs> Could be, yeah. Or maybe little children, you know. <laughs> maybe Whoa. go in the picture. I just can't believe how decayed this place is. Like vermin have entirely covered the suitcase and this bench with all their droppings. So nasty, man. 
so nasty. Also look at the design. Yeah. It almost looks like a little face, nose, it's eyes. like an owl. You don't think so? Like an owl face. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Another frame over here. Again, Maria, I think. Nah, I think it's uh, one of the novel families. It's not, uh, it's not Holy Mary. Wow. I think very old ancestry of the family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like there is a lock in here, but like... I do think it was just to, like, you can yeah. lift it up. Yeah, you can lift it up, but I mean, just sheets. Just sheets. Coming in as usual. Another chest over here. A beautiful one, though. Yeah. And then what is? Wow, another one of those lights. Porcelain and a light. And also look on top. Natural light falling through. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Little ceiling windows. Well, actually, this is the other bedroom that was connected with the other room. I'm just gonna stand here. Check it out. It's a wonderful bed. Yeah. I mean, look at the design. So different again from the other. Yeah, yeah, Bed yeah, frames, yeah. but again, so elegant and truly antique, priceless. And then what do we have over here? Another family picture. Yeah. Another little girl. And then another one right over there. This is actually at a company. I would say so, man. Textile, maybe? <coughs> yeah, I do think so. All right. And what else? In a church? Yeah. Looks like it. Sexto Capitulo. You see that? With us. The Carlos. Historia do Sorano. You also should check out the bedroom from that perspective. If you stand there in the corner. Well, you can definitely tell. It's the best. It's incredible. It's beautiful, right? Check out over here. Again. Small child. Wow. Small girl. Maybe Mrs. Ines when she was younger. And what is that? This was actually a bill for Pedro, the man that actually passed away first. Nineteen oh six over here. Trying to find some really, really old things, you know. Nineteen fifteen. Something for the municipality. In Porto. From again Pedro. And what else do we have? Like picture. Again, small pictures. Alright. Well, for the rest we have some very old magazines again. I see 1930. I also see something of the Republic with Joseph Stalin on it. Where? This one? At least he looked like it, but I believe he's actually a Portuguese count. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is even the price before the Escudo. 300 rise, so that's very, very old. Got some generals over here display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magazine at least. De Manuel. De Manuel the second. There are like so many of these volumes over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are multiple over there. Well, 
I think over here is just some more storage, as you can tell. Some personal letters right over there. Yeah, there's just a lot of paperwork. <coughs> a lot of paperwork in this place, man. Some toys, actually. Yeah. Right also a lot of toys in this place. You can tell that little children were growing up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And one day also probably grandchildren the small were girl, coming man. here. Constantly seeing in the pictures, right? Yeah, yeah. She was definitely uh, inside of here. As you can tell right over here. Over here we have this Bravia TV. Looks quite modern, but I don't think it's that modern. Wow, anymore. check out the stove. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a proper look, man. Wow. And then we have a little sink over here in the corner. They can wash the cells over here. Yeah. But what is that? It was for a soap. This one? I mean those things this, in the middle. Those things. What is it? This It's very heavy. Well, here's your answer. Gym equipment. Yeah. Is it like heavy heavy? Yeah. Can even uh, for your forearms. Yeah, man. All right, all right. That's quite fascinating. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do when you take some pictures in here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have well, you then. also shown this already? Like the glasses oh, no, 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 no. still laying here. Look, how neat they are. Have you seen the picture? Look, look, look. You can shine a light. Do you think it's, it's her when she was younger? It looks very old. Yeah, it looks very old. But yeah, she was born in 1921, bro. So I think this was Mrs. Ines Maria. Yeah, it could definitely be true, man. Another one? It's actually outside here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Well, all right. Then uh, some of the religious artifacts, but I do think go to the next room. And that is actually a bar room. Yeah, yep, a bar room. You can tell that this one is a little bit older, less yeah. modern, more dirty too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, we have the ceiling windows over here. And a washing machine. Yeah, a washer. Heavy duty washer. Actually, quite American washer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Lickmas. Lickmar, yeah. Toilet. And that's not a toilet, guys. We know what that is right now. It's a bidet. It's a bidet. Learned that here in Portugal. And, yeah, little match shaft. Yep. Well, not too much special, actually. Well, <laughs> it's crazy. Lyra, Vortex glass. It is a glass. Crazy. Okay. Crazy. Well then, oh, one way uh, to go, right? We have one other bathroom over here, I believe. Let's just quickly check out what we have over here. Nothing very special in here, but maybe the other one. No. Rooms for Rooms. cleaning. Exactly. And then, just to show it to you, so you know that we're trying to be as thorough as possible, we come back to the kitchen and we made an entire round. So that means we found some stairs going down. Let's head there right now. Let's see what we can find over there. I think it's just a shed, honestly. And uh, yeah, keep watching because after that, it's gonna be phenomenal. <laughs> Let's go. So making our way downstairs. Oh, this definitely doesn't look like a like a shed, man. 
Do you think it wasn't our living parts? <laughs> what are you seeing? It's a big hallway. Like really? a big hallway, yeah, yeah. What's over here? Well, let's first do this thing. Storage. Yeah, storage. I mean, look. Yep. That's some storage. So this yeah. is like a little shed, but the rest? It was a big hallway. I'm not quite sure yet. Because of course, we pan through this place at the beginning, like we said at the beginning of the video. But we only checked it uh, like quickly during the night. And we only saw the beautiful room and then we were like, oh yeah, then we need to film here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, all the items inside are not being used anymore. If you think this vacuum cleaner looks used, it's just covered in thick layers of dust. Yep. And that dress over here. And... Whoa, this one looks pretty neat. You see? You can just see a bug crawling inside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I see it. Nice. It's crazy. Well, at least there are more salamanders. But the ammo... Bro, lizard. <laughs> salamander is not a word. <laughs> salamander is a Dutch word. Lizard. Lizard. And this is not the first, <laughs> it's not the first time that I said it wrong. Right? Well... <laughs> All Let's right. hope you don't say NNS this time. NNS, no. <laughs> NNS, no. NNS, no. Just some Dutch English jokes. If anybody knows football trainer Louis van Gaal, you know that the Dutch can, can make some funny the phrases in English. Damn. Whoa. This is not a bedroom, man. I wasn't anticipating on finding bedrooms on this floor too. Well, all right, I'm just gonna walk in. Wow, wow. <laughs> All right, so we have this bedroom over here. Another, yeah, it's matching the other bed it's that we've seen, the other right? Bed. Exactly, exactly. As you can tell, yeah, animals have been hitting on this place, man. They, they did their thing. Whoa. What is that? That's actually for uh, pneumatics. Yeah, you know it. Lung, right? lung patients, yeah. Ooh, yeah. What's on here? Well, whoa, a beautiful bathroom, right? Ooh. Bro, honestly, like, I would like to have this in my own rare house. Like, the tiles is, are beautiful. Honestly, that's beautiful, man. Yeah, but Mo, don't you find it strange? These look like hotel rooms. Yeah, a little. I, I think they just really this was for guests. I really this do not think guests. this place was a hotel. No, 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 no. But this was definitely for guests. Yeah. I mean, all right. I think one. they just wanted to have them their privacy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason why we're saying that is because there's a, there is one other door. Oh no. Some personal belongings, actually. Clothes. So maybe not guests. I don't know. I have no clue, man. Honestly. So speechless about this place. Actually. It looks like this floor over here, though, was maybe the floor where they lift in the last days, since it's in still the best stage, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well. Continue, continue, man. Crazy. Keeps on going. Oh, another bathroom over here. Wow, beautiful tiles. Can you shine a light inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, right? The design of it. But these are actually quite clean, like the upstairs. There is much more stuff left. But over here, it's, it's quite clean. Just be going to the outside? No, I think it's just no, a cabinet, no. right? It's a cabinet. But it's locked. It's locked, yeah. Properly locked. What's this? Well, it's actually a natural bar in Portugal. Yeah. 
a little mat. Yep. Some shoes. And then look. Bro, we had actually dinner here last night. True, true, true. We cannot show it to you, but. No, 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 no. Beautiful, no. beautiful place, beautiful uh, town. It was a beautiful town, yeah. I can remember that. Oh, damn, damn, damn. This... Wow. Bro, this was definitely a part for guests. I mean, have a look closer, closer look here. Wow. I'm just going to stand over here, right in the corner. You know, maybe like the people wanted to give back to the community. So when people didn't have the money to build a house, they would maybe give them residence over here. Yeah, place to stay. I think I can't. No, it's locked. It, I mean, right? If, if you saw this right now, then you would say it was an Airbnb. But back then, they didn't have Airbnbs. No. Yeah, and as you can see, we're panning through the rooms quite fast, but it's just that there is nothing. Yeah, and there. also nothing original from the family, you know? No, 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 exactly, exactly. Like nothing that dates back to the real novel family. No. Well, apart from the thing that we're about to see over here. Many good Wow. Well, bro, imagine how far this goes. Unreal, right? This dates back some time. Centuries. Well, in this one we actually have some personal stuff left. As you can tell, on the bed over here, it's also quite simple beds actually. But what? Rosary. Korte field. I think it's for a baby. It's yeah, it's, a, it's actually a gift that you would give on a baby shower or something. What? 2017, I think this bag has been placed here after abandonment, like last person that really comes here very occasionally. But why? I mean, even why? I'm wondering why they never gave the gifts. No, no, no. Maybe that person also passed away. Yeah, could have been, man. But I mean, like, how long is this place abandoned then? Look over there, look over there in the corner. Our 25th anniversary, our wedding day. This is probably the person that owns this place. And that's, oh no, it's actually stock photos, by the way. Yep. You see, stock yep. photos. Stock photos, man. Well. Well, they at least had a 25th anniversary to celebrate. Yeah, through that, through that. But just the fascinating fact that over here is quite some more modern stuff. Yeah, you can tell that those bags are more Place recent. Later. Yeah. I mean, pull and bear, come on. Besides for this, of course, it's all gone. You have another bathroom over here? Yep. Yeah. So many bathrooms actually. But again, just sing single bathroom. Many attached in this place, but not much things left. Well, all right, Mo. I want to pen out one thing. You That's see an it, alarm. Right? That's an alarm. But. That was the wine again. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so too. It's quite funny if we actually would find the alarm and then all of a sudden somebody is like, what are you doing over here? But I don't think so, because... This is the alarm system looks dismantled. It's not even attached. Yeah. It's <laughs> disconnected. Well, some embroidered... Uh, Pictures over here. It's quite unique. You see another alarm sensor over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually covered it with something. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is the real deal, man. Lucky for us. But yeah, I think this was actually 
like a hotel part because there is also a fire extinguisher and normally those things have like a date of expiry on them should actually be here mm -hmm. I think this was like a little in well, I do think later on. Yeah, of course. Like became an hotel part. Last few decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can tell that that there is also a kitchen over here. It's quite a cute kitchen, actually. Come have a look. Oh yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> cozy. Yeah. I also just love that. You can immediately get the vibe that's a hotel. It doesn't have that many personal belongings. The boiler right over there. Man. Yep. A lot of mice uh, drops. Yeah. I'm literally walking there. Mice and red droppings. And red droppings right now. And of course this one is empty. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah, I think you were right about it, man. I think this was used as a place to stay. At least only this part. The upper part, for sure, was the original family. Oh. Only. Damn, look, Mo. Wow. Bro, it's like we just entered an art gallery. Look in your back. Damn. Wow. Oh, yeah. This definitely is an art gallery. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is where they used to store everything. From the old furniture. Of the once inhabitants. Wait, this one is very cool. It's also from the war, I think. Wiener Vorwerk is actually German. Yeah. These are all these paintings. Yeah. And we don't pull back. All right. Wow. Well, so yeah. pristine. All the small decorations. And there, another city in Portugal. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, this was just the storage art for all the antiques. I mean, there is much more to see actually. Well, look at the Chinaware over there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Diploma. Yeah. That was for Maria. Well, but another Maria, Maria Cortanza, and not Ina Maria. Okay. 1984 so that was definitely one of the other daughters i think true true As you can tell the mat over here yeah over there the window is open and as you can tell here i this actually used to be the foyer of this place the foyer yeah like the place where you come in I guess you welcome them with something to drink and then eventually it you lead them to the rest of the place. This was the foyer, I think. Okay, okay. Didn't it was in that, uh, was like a call that. Whoa, go rack. Yep. Doors. 1500 over there. It's a map, huh? Yeah. Surreal. And what I'm really curious about is the head case over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro. This is from a church. Bro. I mean, it, it, it's for Man. Right. right now it could be very simple, but. That is a crazy find. This was definitely used in some special occasions. For sure. Damn. Whoa. That's beautiful. Oh my man. gosh. I really like the details. I'm gonna put them back. Like oh yeah, for sure. Probably. Oh my gosh. I 
also really like the fireplace, man. Yeah. It looks just stunning. Yep, very traditional, right? With all the stones. Yep. And wooden yeah. beams on the on the ceiling. I can imagine that it would be nice coming in here, man. And the floor is also so dusty, guys. Like, look at it. Unbelievable. <laughs> for real, for real. Well, one thing I'm definitely gonna do is close this over. If that's still possible. I don't think so. Well, must be possible. Wait, let me help you. No, wait. The problem is right over here. <sighs> no, it's not possible, bro. So right. sad. Well, we can close the shutters. Yep, that's true. And uh, I do think uh, it's better to go upstairs again and uh, show the people what they were probably waiting for right now. Five for the real deal. Exactly. Me as well. So let's go. All right. So Moreno, we just came upstairs and we're going to walk down this hallway. And I do think if people look very closely on the screen, they can already see some beautiful glimpses, but they're just not going to spoil oil anything all right we have again some paintings I like say drawings oh this is cool you know why Musée de Louvre oh that's crazy yeah so this is probably a painting that's hanging up in that museum yep This is Maria. Talking about museums, by the way. This place is like a museum. It is. I mean, it is, man. Well, we should in that room where we have another religious uh, thing. It's time, guys. You're about to see the, first the office and library of Maria. And damn, she had a good taste of royalty. That's one thing for sure. Where did we just step into? Have a look at this. Unbelievable, right? Whoa! This is one of the craziest abandoned libraries I've ever seen. Well, there is one one that's also even crazy, but we never had that on tape, unfortunately. True, true. We do have the memory, luckily, still, but we needed to run away and we lost our, our memory cards. And yet again, we find a library that's that beautiful. First of all, look at the portraits. One of the things I always, always truly love. Paintings, portraits. This was probably, probably Pedro. Or one of the family ancestors. And then look at this cabinet over here. Wow. Bro, unreal, right? Like how, how can you make such a thing like this? A, B, C, D, complete alphabet. Yeah, true. Do you think that's worth a lot of money, bro? Huh? Bro, this is priceless. Like this I think there's only one of those pieces made. Like you say, the entire alphabet and all those tiny compartments, all the way up to X right over here. This is unbelievable, man. <laughs> How can this be so well preserved? In such a good state, actually. I think the reason is because this place is truly secluded. It's hidden in the mountains, for real. Yep, yep. You would absolutely not say that it is. Looking this way, man. I'll give you some light. Yeah. Uh, it's mind blowing, man. Mind look, at, blowing. look at this, look at this. Wow. 
first of all. What would be? They were all still Philbro too. All of them. Oh, a squeaky sound. Damn. Wow. Wind is uh, making his way. Yeah, for sure. Look. Old photo. Old picture of. Uh, it's not the chapel over here, it's the church. Yeah. And look, another uh, old postal stamp. Yeah, a postage stamp. What is that over there? It's a mosque. Oh, that's a granny crazy. mask. You wouldn't expect it in this room. No, no, no. <laughs> this was the room that was seriously used for running their business and working. And damn, um, man, look at this dress. It's a dress, right? Can you actually ah. shine a light in the cabinet? Whoa. Porto. Look at this beauty. Yo. That's incredible. Bro, that's worth some money. Yeah, like you already said, man, when we walked in here, we said like there's probably for millions inside to only this room. Yeah, for sure. Like only the piece already in front of us. Look, look, look. Why? Is that ah, all the way to my home? So yeah, it was the entire alphabet. Just some small equipment, man. Size fifty forty seven. This is size. So real, man. So real. I mean, I can't just imagine this place being so well preserved. Family pictures. Wait, let me grab them. The baby. As well as some other religious pictures, group pictures, and even. Wow, picture of. Looks like a surgeon or maybe uh, an admiral or. Exactly. Somebody in the army. Military nobility. Unbelievable. And the other portrait of here. Beautiful, right? Yeah, looks like a very wise man. Very well studied. Intelligent man. Well, this is just filled with booze again. But take a look at this, this chair, bro. It's completely broken apart. Unbelievable. And Have a look at the letter, the upholstery, the emblem. So sad that this is just broken. Sadly enough, man. Sadly enough. Ha, ah, demo. And let's pan out to the corner. Oh yeah, the library with the office desk. Glob still there, and if you look on the other side, you can just see how nature is taking over. Like nature is really coming into this place. It's literally vines are just growing in, thorns. And, and look at the ground. <sighs> Birds nests? No, no, no. It's really just like all the sticks that just. Um... It looks like birds. Well, you know why it's in that shape. Because the shutter was probably closed for a long time. It's literally a jungle over here. Yeah, this place is unreal, man. Well, what type of books do we have? History of Portugal over there, different yes. volumes. These ones, huh? Yeah. And this is the sphere. The okay. sphere. The sphere. What's the date? 1912. 1912. Damn. Unbelievable. All right, I'm gonna open one up. So I'm curious what it is. Whoa. Go to the first page. Wow. 
1912, London made a force an illustrated newspaper for the home this fair. Bro. What we're finding here is nice. worth a lot of money, especially for collectors. Yeah. I mean, people will... Uh... People are gonna freak out if and they see this. This is crazy, look. This is what I always find very interesting. A ruby and diamonds was 60 pounds back then. So that's the reason why many older people, of course, back then, 60 pounds was a lot, but still, inflation hit well, man. Yeah, for sure. I think I've got a puzzle box over here. Well, the book is also very heavy, I'm sorry. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, it's like heavy, heavy, man. Yeah, but they're also big, you know, like. Oh. Damn. Yeah, just just pan through it, bro. Just see what you can find. I think over here, this is a dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dictionary from Portugal. The new dictionary. 1902. 1902. This is more than 100 years old. This book. Written 100 years ago. There, Mo. Materials stay, but everything else vanishes. And once things will be neglected, I you know this part. I can grab books, but yeah, as you can tell, they're demolished. Man. They're yeah, demolished. the covers are completely damaged. Do you think this is a more modern one? Yeah. This one looks really, really cool. Dictionary. Dictionary of Science, Letters and Arts. This one? Yeah. A big boy, again. You can just see the dust while we're opening the pages. Eighteen AD. That's what I was saying. And there is also a Latin French dictionary over here. Well, I needed that. You know why? Because this is also in French. <laughs> What's the date? 1871. And you know what I think is so cool is the way that these people used to educate themselves back then. Yeah, like a lot of reading. A dictionary for France, so learning French, and then a dictionary for science, so learning science in French. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable, like unbelievable. Of Primi course, primitive times. Yeah, man. Then you definitely no modern it, yeah. internet. No, no, no. Alright man, I mean, this one looks quite fascinating, the white cover. It's just a story reading book. Yeah, I do think so. Manual. Yeah, blowing shutter again, we heard something slamming. Again, again and again. <coughs> But then, the main office seat, actually the same seat as the other one, but this one is luckily still intact. I can have an imagination on how that one looked. Yeah. So happy that this one is still intact. The pillow is beautiful as well. Yeah. Honestly, look at the embroidery. Some cats. Trees. Kittens. Oh wow, check this out bro, look, the pen. Well, you know what's even more cooler than the pen, is this. These are all coins from other places, well, they are from Canada, 
These are all Canadian coins, man. Crazy. Stapler, course, globe. globe, yeah. <laughs> Completely written in Portuguese. Wow. This is where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And then, I do think, besides all these books. I think one, the most beautiful thing still left to show them is actually right here. A very ancient map of the continents of Portugal. Portugal Continental. Wow, man. I think this is also from the late 1800s, at it's least. Real, right? <laughs> at least. Manuel Pereira, Porto. That's crazy. And that was just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that was just the beginning. Uh, all right, let's continue then. And uh, let's go on because right now, things will definitely go crazy. All right, well, then it's time to show you the real secrets of this place. Damn. Wow. Imagine finding something oh like this. Oh my gosh. The main entrance, the main hall where the people would come in. And it's full of ancient swords, sables, armor, even knights' armor, almost an entire, entire suit over there. This is unbelievable. I mean, right. imagine finding something like this, man. <sighs> Just imagine, simply. Take the and leap, bro. Take the well, leap. Well, take the leap. Turn around, please. Wow. My gosh. Just a Shirley coat of arms. Right over there. Wow. With the big, huge crown. And then again, we have the chair. Same as we just saw. So we already saw the details. But the tiles are Incredible. also so beautiful. Beautiful granites. But well, yeah, they're more or less taking a look at this big eye catcher because then. I can't believe this, bro. This is real. This is museum. This is a museum piece, man. Museum quality. Medieval armor. All the swords. Just right next to it, and then just as freaking decoration. Can't it's believe it. As decoration, man. Can't believe it. I mean, this was actually the main door of the property, and you can also see how the roots are just creeping through that door. Like this place hasn't been opened for years. It's even locked from the inside, so you cannot even enter through this door. No, no, no. Well, we have some letters and what is this? It's an agenda from 1982. 1982. Well, there's not much room in it. It's uh, quite blank. Shooting some calculations. Oh, it's uh, nature science. Physics. Physics, yeah. Nature science. Damn, Raymond, please. I had this freaking education. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. Don't even worry. We're well, all here to learn. Exactly. I know that I'm good in it, in Dutch. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're also really good at English, bro. Don't worry about it. And again, the chairs, man. Look at this. And it's this, yeah, bro, it's the same emblem. Like yeah. the same emblem. It's an umbrella holder. A freaking umbrella holder. I'll I mean, take a look at the grandfather clock. It's from 1786. 1786. 1786, indeed. Yeah, you're right. Bro, this thing is more than 200 years old. <sighs> wow. I honestly think this is gold. Real gold? I honestly think so.
could definitely be the case, man. Could definitely be the case. Man, this is one of the most beautiful clocks I've ever, ever, ever seen. So sad that this part is not intact anymore. Nope. I think it has been just fallen down, man. <laughs> I was talking about umbrella holder. There was even an umbrella inside. That's just how untouched this place is. And even the umbrella is quite old. Yeah. And it is in a bad condition. Don't want to destroy it. Man, what is this? Oh, it's um, what they use to pin on weapons. Mm -hmm. There also used to be guns inside, but we've heard that those got stolen. Well, then I do think the guns were actually here, man. Yeah, most likely. Because these belong to a gun. Wow. Look at the lights fixture in the middle. Yeah, beautiful, right? It's actually from wood. It's quite unique. But this is this is iron, right? Yeah, this is iron, man. Or at least copper, maybe, I don't know. Some kind of, of metal. Well, it's time. Yeah. Oh my, this reminds me a little bit of when we found this, the samurai warrior statue too. Exactly, man, exactly. But then this this goes back through medieval times, bro. Yeah, this really goes back to medieval times. Huh? This is incredible. Like mm, you can see. Let's start at the bottom together. The shape, of the shoes, well, also the weights over here, and then knees, knee patches, knee patches exactly, and the well famous Melian colder to protect as well. Then we got the gloves and the hands. Exactly. You can shine a little bit of light on here. Oh yeah, sure. All right, now and then how can we tell that this one was real? Well, I honestly think that you cannot make a replica that looks as genuine as this one. Well, take a look. Every single frame is stitched one by one it's like frame every single thing is stitched one by one so it was real so that the person could move his finger inside and normally at least i remember that from museums with replicas they don't make it like that they leave it because it's way too much work Unbelievable, right? <laughs> I'm never gonna forget this day. No, absolutely not. And besides the fact that we have this beautiful thing over here, I mean, why not just place a second one? Yeah. Why not just make a second one? But what is actually quite fascinating about this one, and very sad, it's missing. One is missing, right? One is missing. You can still see the dust mark. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. And what I also noticed is there was one sword that had this shape. And this one actually used to be on top. Okay. So the other one is perfectly in great condition. But this one not. Still a very unique piece. Definitely. Absol absolutely. Well, then uh, again the same chair over there, and uh, I would say let's head down over here. Go drag over here. As you can see, some stories, a child toy, a scooter. <laughs> Yeah, just some storage actually. Storage, um, vacuum cleaner, toys as well. Some movies, well, not too much to see. So when you thought that that was beautiful, we have the final room. Look at this. Unbelievable, Moreno. 
this piece over here that is still in such a good condition. It's mainly the big eye catcher. It's probably worth 50, 100,000. I have no clue. I don't think these are even not made anymore nowadays. Oh no, for sure not. That specific type has been made centuries ago. Yep. Probably in the 1800s. What a room. What a room, right? The main room, El Salon. You have enough light, by the way? You yeah, yeah, room. for sure. There is a lot of natural light. All right, then. Uh, I'm gonna turn that down. And I'm gonna focus on what we can see. There's the beautiful porcelain statues again. Yeah, wonderful vases. Vases, yeah, exactly. All the small bits and parts. Over there, a religious one. Wow. The beautiful curtains. Yeah, the laces, right? Yeah, the laces. With the natural light falling in, it's just so magical. Some uni sofa. And they are so comfortable. <sighs> I can't believe that even though the wallpaper is all peeling, the frames are still hanging up here. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all still so well in place. Wow. This is from a bygone time. And they're also French, huh? Yeah, a lot of French. Of course, French. France has a lot of like history too. Yep. With the revolution, but also the military nobility. And that was also definitely related with the Portuguese nobility. Yeah, true, true. Man, this is so close to collapse over here. It's a ticking time bomb. It's, it's actually really a ticking time bomb, man. It's a miracle it still stands upright. Absolutely trapped in time. Again, the fireplace, and the sofa over here. Well, there are also some books actually. Maybe we should show that first. But I do think they're also quite modern. Yeah, they were more newish. It's about nature, about animals. That's nice. <laughs> Guys, check out this fireplace. So beautiful. Got a general over here from the war. The military nobility. It's unbelievable. What is it? It's just man sitting? Yeah. Like a knight. Looks yeah. like a knight. Yeah, bro. So well detailed. Still the tools for the fireplace right next to it. Yep. What is this thing over here? It has no two clue. candle holders on the side with candles, but... And it was also quite cool as this. Like... You can bend them out. Hmm. Candles. I don't know. Well, if you know exactly what it is, then leave it down in the comments section. Because we... Have no Millennials clue. have no clue. Millennials, yeah. <laughs> Guys, then finally... The most incredible feature of this mansion and definitely this room. Just, just be stunned about it, man. Unbelievable. 
this is possibly inside this home. You can see a novel man sitting over here, having conversation with the person right next to him. Yep. Again, the girl. She can be left out. Beautiful picture of woman. Just showing you the details and like speechless. Yeah. Not too much words in here. Let the play speak for itself. And all the photos and memories. People once lived centuries ago. Yep. In this place. Well I think before we go we need to do one last thing and we immediately go to the other parts we have a french piano we have a french grand piano Erard. those are really 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 valuable pianos yep they're probably <laughs> even very rare. more rare than plyle there we go do it I cannot believe that that how, works so properly. How good can this can play so well? I wish we had one of our friends right now with us, Arco, oh. and he could play a song over here. I, I, I was. I would. I would have goosebumps. I was immediately thinking about that when I saw the piano. When we walked inside this room, I was thinking about him. It's quite funny that you say that right now because that's that's telepathic. I was really thinking about him. I can still remember him playing that song inside of the Nightmares Mansion. But that's why they also call us a dynamic duo. True, man. Sometimes True. we just have that, bro. Damn. Well, and over here, just some small decorations, but I don't think anything can tip the piano we just saw. Ah, oh, this is tightly closed. Check out this tiny thing over here. This little small man, huh? <laughs> Another little painting. And the wall paint. Well, no. I don't think it's time uh, to uh, head out because that was it for this uh, part. We have two more parts to go. They're of course not as big, but uh, we will show it to you. Because time right to go now, to the outsides, tour them through the outsides and, and the other the two buildings on the property. Chapel, man. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay, well, it's time to explore the outside right now, the inner courtyard over here. And we got some beautiful features over here as well. So if we look at the door over here, then that's, this was probably from the hotel that we think, like this yeah. was that entire wing. The piano room was right up there. That was the main door with the knight's armor. And then this is actually the part and wing where we started. You can see the fortification too with the bars over here, which means it is an age structure. Well, as you can tell, part of it there, it's just good, continues. Then actually over there, we have the other building that we're going to explore in a bit. It's incredible, all the stone. Yeah. Man. All the overgrowth vegetation how neat is that yeah man it's beautiful right stone fountain once gushed water well this is the last bit that's left <laughs> looks like a very dirty morning coffee yeah man we definitely not drink that anymore. Oh no. <laughs> well, I, uh, I still want to feel okay the rest of the days as well. Yeah, you know? man. Exactly, exactly. Actually, we can maybe check out this part over here. We haven't checked that out yet. Well, 
Actually, I did yesterday, so... <laughs> was it open? No, no, it was okay. not. Okay. It's just crazy to see how oh, this is not even, like, walkable almost anymore. No, no. It's very hard to walk up, man. And then look at the property itself. That's so neat and so beautiful. Wow. Wonderful with that balcony part over here, right? Yeah, man. As you can see, the windows right over there. The doors over there. Really gives me the vibe of, I don't know, like an ancient vibe, you know? And I'm not sure if you can zoom in very closely on yeah. it, but we also have some beautiful tiles over there. I, I think do, it's Holy Mary. I do think you can see it. Maybe if I hold the camera like this, you can have a better view, but there is Holy Mary right over there. And this talking about Holy Mary? This is the chapel. Yep, as you can see. That you already saw for a bit, but only the exterior. Exactly. So I would say let's just take a glimpse inside, right? Exactly. Whoa. So, all right. Here we are in the chapel. And look at this. Moreno. Wow. Ah, damn. That's Wait, incredible. Maybe... <sighs> look at this altar. I mean, look at these details. Honestly. Oh. I really love religion in South Europe. This is so precious. Like, they really, really did care about it. I mean, take a proper look. All the decorations over here as well. And then pan around. Yeah, bro. As if just a simple look. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> also, take a look at the damage of the ceiling. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really damaged, man. Honestly. Look at it from this perspective. Okay, so this was once the main entrance. And then take a closer look. Wow. Prayer's chair over there. This place really has everything. It does have everything. Like, yeah, you can't see it properly anymore because it's just... It's very faded because of DK, mostly mold. So look at all the crosses on top here. Yeah, they are literally like... All over. Bienaventura do eres, o abracado, porque sin haberme, vistas has credo. Crazy. Actually, a religious Portuguese quote, and finally, over here. Whoa! What do we have? It's like a side part of the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like you know they had a priest or a pastor that was actually doing like, prayers over here. Yeah, man. The I key mean, is even still in the keyhole. Unbelievable, right? As you can tell, right over there. Yeah. <laughs> man. Unreal. It's crazy. <laughs> and as you can tell, like, nature is really taking over. Yeah. Over For real. And there are the candle holders. Right over there. Yeah, man. <laughs> what a chapel, man. What a chapel. If you enter it from here, it's also so magical. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, I see. It's like... Bienvenidos. <laughs> and the prayer would come in. Come for your praise, my sir. Yeah, I'm still going to give you one more beautiful glimpse at these statues, like how well detailed they are. Unreal, man. All right, Mo. 
then I do think... Uh, one final thing to show? One final thing to show, man. The gas toss. Exactly. Well, let's go. So the final thing to show you is this little building over here. Looks like they used the down parts as a barn or something one day, probably to put their agricultural machines and vehicle inside. But on the top floor is actually a guest house. At least I assume it was a guest house back in its heyday. And also for that part, it counts that it is still completely furnished. There is a bedroom, a bathroom, and a living area. Unbelievable, man. And you haven't seen it yet, right, Raymond? No, I haven't. I quickly checked it last night and only take a look at its entry. I mean, looks like a jungle opening, honestly. Really looks like a jungle opening. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna walk, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sorry. Oh, go webs. I can't blame you. Yeah, bro. This door was also widely standing open yesterday. Like, we always leave places closed when we leave. But for now, we wanted to leave everything the same way so nobody would notice that something would be different, you know? Okay, let's head in. Check this out. Wow. Beautiful, yeah. right? Yeah, that's beautiful, man. So pristine. Apart from all the dust, like, Everything is perfectly in place. And have a look at this. This man is very extravagantly dressed. I do think this was for a fun party, man. I don't think that no, was- No, 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 no. This is serious. I mean, we shouldn't, <laughs> no, we shouldn't make fun of, of, of this. It's, he's, I think, a very particular appearance. And it looks like he actually went to church All right. for a very, very, very special occasion. But yeah, I, I mean, I understand it's, it's funny because it's just out of the ordinary, you know? Yeah, true, true, true. And it's, it's not from, from like our culture and this time, but we should definitely respect that. Mm -hmm. I think that this might also have been like one day this was like for servants. But I think at the last days, this was also like oh, yeah. something for a hotel because something there are some hotel. leaflets. Yep, yep, yep. Well, incredible iron chandelier in the middle. Yeah, man, quite beautiful. There is not much details, many, just many pictures of um, yeah. like seas around. And if you see, this is the cleanest bedroom we've seen of everything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even yeah, though yeah. you can still see some feces over there in the mattress, and I tried to smell it yesterday and it smelled musty. <laughs> But it looks clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naked it, eye. Does, it does look quite clean. And then finally, well, it's a little narrow space, but we've got yes. a bathroom. A bathroom. As you can tell, we yep. shower right over there. Toilet. Toilet. All right, yeah, yeah, it has to be there. I wonder if I this door. Let's find out. Oh, I haven't even seen this yesterday. Damn. Kitchen. It even continues over here, bro. Kitchen. A lot of ceramics. Yeah. As you can wow, tell. Wow, check this out. It will leave a very old stove. Oh yeah, yeah, that's quite unique. Well, I'm quite more modern boiler. Yeah, this has definitely been like an Airbnb part. <coughs> Another bedroom over here with a bathroom attached to it. I think they would actually like rent this entire condo out. Yeah, true. Prayers. Ah, this is the door. This is the door, yeah. Yeah. Actually locked over Properly here. Properly locked, man. Can't open that up. And that is where a spectacular exploration. One for the books. In Portuguese oh. land comes to an end. Definitely the greatest place we've seen so far on the new Portugal series. I'm just gonna have a seat over here on these mossy stairs with all the vegetation around me and 
I just really want to thank everybody for watching. But I also particularly want to thank Mrs. Ines Maria, Pedro, Isabella, Gaspar, the entire family for being able to actually immerse ourselves in their incredible family history and for everything they have done. And of course, once again, my gratitude and Ramos gratitude to all of you. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel down below if you want to see more episodes and leave a nice comment down below. Supporting is possible in the description to Patreon and PayPal so we can travel to more places all around the world. And in the end, muito obrigado. Thank you very much. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out.